Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuits, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Ignite. Ignite is a racing game by Nemesis that came out just a few short days ago. The whole point of the game is that you, you, you have a Nitro Booster, but the Nitro Booster uses up your score, so you are trying to conserve your Nitro to get the highest score possible. But of course, if you lose the race, that kind of sucks as well. It's got multiplayer, it's got free play, it's got a campaign, so we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to start by using the keyboard, and if the keyboard kind of sucks, then what I will do is I will switch over to the 360 pad. Alright. Apparently I have... Oh, there we go. Right, it takes a little bit of time to load the car models for whatever reason. Race. Street. Okay, the race car is locked, so we have street or muscle, it would seem. You can also switch between several generic models, which are also locked, as it turns out. Configuration. They're also locked as well. Alright, okay, I guess we start. I don't know what this car is, but I'm driving it anyway. There you go, that's the sort of rules behind it. You burn away your score as Nitro. But it counts as extra seconds at the end of the race. An interesting concept, I feel. Let's see how it goes. Alright, let's give it a try. Not the prettiest looking game I've ever seen. This is on maximum graphical detail, but we'll see how it looks in motion. That's the thing that really matters. All right. Let's rock and or roll, whichever comes first. Wow, the viewpoint is kind of awkward. Not liking that. Somebody's drafting behind me. How dare they? They're stealing all my precious resources. Good God, these things skid all over the place. All right. I'm not... You might think, oh, he's doing handbrake turn. No, this is actually without handbrake. I'm just holding down the accelerator right here. S to use nitro. All right. Oh, I'm not going to use nitro on a sodding corner, am I? All right, here we go. Ah! All right, that, that makes you go fairly quickly. Position prediction. That's, that's nice of you. I like that encouragement. We predict it. You're going to win. How awesome are you? Ah! That's the handbrake. One... One tap. Oh, I'm the Drift King. How useful is that when I'm in third sodding place? Get back here. Alright. You can also match speed with your opponent if you just want to sort of drift and draft around them. Draft, I think, earns you score. You can see that I'm burning my score away, which is fine. I have enough score to justify that. It's an interesting concept. I wonder how much it matters being in first place versus how much score you haven't lost. The way the cars handle is a little bit weird in this, I've got to say. They they skid all over. The, the handbrake doesn't seem to even be required for turns. It's more of a case of just let off the throttle ever so slightly or, in fact, just burn around the corner. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. It also seems that hitting barriers gives me score. Surely that won't. Apparently not. Ah! God, these things break fast. Good lord. That, there was nothing stylish about that. It looked like a penguin was driving. Ah, Jesus. Let's get around here. If there's anyone actually playing multiplayer, we can do that after that. Alright, I don't want to burn away my score now. I'm in first, so... Alright, so uh, you can see there's the score. The score takes your time away. Not by a huge amount. The guy in last place is still in last place. But it's okay, because Total Bisku wins. Total... Total Why would your game not support more than 10 characters? Who knows? Alright. Okay, let us continue, shall we? Let us play some more Ignite, and then we'll have a look at the other modes that are currently available. Really nice soundtrack to go along with it. Alright. Alright. A map called Overtaking. I wonder what this involves. It's alright, I can get the slightly... Oh, that's actually... Never mind, that's actually got a, a bonus on it. So, yeah, there we go. I'm going to use that. I'm going to try the streetcar after that. I desire said streetcar. Alright, gimme, gimme. Here we go. I feel much more stylish now. I'm being sponsored by random made-up companies. Here we go. 
do a little bit of drafting. Max speed with the spool. The draft behind me, how dare you? Can't remember what the nitro button was. It's S, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Ah! This looks very, very similar to the last track, as it turns out. Extremely similar to the last track. As in, it looks like exactly the same track. I have to wonder if it is or it isn't. It certainly looks like it. I can't really, really honestly remember. I think it is the same track, just with an extra guy. It doesn't seem like keeping your score is bad. Jesus! This thing handles so bad. It's like a block of steel on a ski. I suppose what I get for picking up muscle car. Like here, you get 10% bonus to your drifting. Don't worry, there's going to be a lot of goddamn drifting going on. All right. Get out of here. None of that nonsense from you. Thank you very much. Can't see anything. Too much motion blur. Car is on fire. All right. Not exactly the meatiest sound, I have to say, behind these cars. It sounds like I'm driving a Volkswagen Golf 1 liter compact. Alright. Get around the side. There we go. No, 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 don't skid all over the place. This guy behind me has got mega score. I'm not liking that. I don't know if burning away my score was a good idea. Why do you get points for hitting barriers? Surely you should be dodging them. And they, they don't stop me from moving at all, so I guess there's no real concern about it, is there? More drifting, yeah! Ugh. Skid around the place. Alright, have we got this? We might. No! Oh, what the hell did I just hit?! Did I seriously just hit one of those little traffic lights that go bouncing backwards? The physics engine in this game is curious, to say the least. Oh, come on! Surely that puts me ahead of Massa. Yes, it does. There we go. That puts me in second, I guess. Weird, weird physics response on these cars. I'll try the other car. Street car or whatever. Alright, what else is there? Now black asphalt is locked. I guess we have to do that track again. Oh yeah, it, it is very similar. There's Trailblazer as well, this is a new one. Can I give that a shot? Alright, I shall drive this street car. Which supposedly handles a bit better than that. Alright, let's give it a shot. Looks like a knockoff Audi A4. Here we go. I'm ready for action. What I do like is the fact that you can ram other cars out of the way. It upsets me when I see games that don't let you do that. I don't care if it's unrealistic, it's hilarious. Alright, let's... This car handles a little better. Yes! Although it has some... Still, the cars in this game just handle in a very odd way. Honestly, they're not, they don't handle in the way that you expect them to. It's a little weird. I mean, I like the concept behind it. The idea that you have to choose whether or not you want to use your Nitro and lose a bunch of points. And that if you save your points, you can still end up in first... God damn! You barely touch the wheel on this and you go flying off in another direction. The sense of speed you get with a nitro is reckless, to say the least. Also very, very odd. There we go. Hit it. You see how much it rattles your screen? I was like, where, where's the fire coming from the side of the screen? Why is my windscreen on fire? You want to explain that to me? It's like there's a bloody screen thing. You've been hit by a bullet. Suddenly, your eyes. Blood everywhere. Blood flying out of your eyes in torrents. This is fiery screen. 
Because there is a little bit of damage modeling to the Dars as well, as far as I can tell, but it doesn't affect the performance. Just dents here and there. It'll buff right out. Blag! These cars do not handle in the way you would think. They really, really do not. There we go. All is fine. Until I hit the side of the freaking barrier. But funnily enough, I managed to keep up 200 mile an hour speed while smashing into a steel barrier. That was awesome. Now I have 5 million score. There we go. I think we're all good. Almost. Yes, you are not stopped really by bashing into things. I can understand the concept of arcade eraser, but some degree of resistance when I smash headfirst into a large barrier would perhaps be appreciated. Alright. There we go. Let's try multiplayer after this, see if anyone's actually playing this online. Often with small games like this, you find that it's rather hard to find someone to play against. I don't even want to press the handbrake button. The last time I pressed the handbrake button, horrible things happened. You don't even need it. You skid around so incredibly easily by just letting off the throttle for a split second. It's not really all that important. There we go. And the winner is Total Biscu. Once again, the martial arts version of Total Biscuit. Either that or some kind of low fat sweetener. I don't want to go for gold, gold time. No, I'm not going to do that. But I will check if there's any multiplayer going on. That'll be interesting. If any of you happens to have Ignite, by the way, you can come play multiplayer. That might be amusing. Available games. Bugger all. <laughs> That's, me hosting a game would be a bad thing. I don't really have the upstream to support that. See what happens. Really, someone else should host it. That's not a very nice park. Is Oxide Park? Who the hell would want to chill out in Oxide Park? Really? Run out, race, knockout. Colorful dawn, big clouds, red storm. I like that it's got some environments, that's pretty cool. There's actually quite a lot of different environments. Quite nice. But yeah, I, I don't really think that there's going to be anyone actually playing this. There are no available games. It's kind of sad, really, when you see that, but it happens. Conclusion on Ignite. Well, there's a free play mode. I suppose we can do the conclusion while we're doing this, so I can set up one of these races. Three laps. How many AI players to go to? So, a total of five people in a race. Oxide Park. If I were to come to a conclusion on this one, the problem I've got with it is the concept's really good, but the handling is very, very odd. And admittedly, I'm playing on a keyboard, not a 360 pad, but the cars don't react in the way that I would expect them to. If you can sort of get a handle on the way that things work in terms of the drifting, then it's alright, but it's just very, very odd to see cars sliding around in the way that they are. Also, the handbrake doesn't seem to have any use whatsoever, because you can very, very easily just skid around the place. I'm not really sure why I'm being rewarded for hitting solid barriers either, that doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. But hey, that's just the way of it. The actual speed that you get is quite nice, and the environments do look fairly pretty, and for an indie title, it's not a bad looker, honestly. Some reasonable damage modeling on the cars. I like the idea that there are a few variants on each type of car, so that this one gives me 10% bonus to hitting objects, which apparently I'm extremely good at. Soundtrack's alright. Sound assets are a little weak, I've got to say. Nitro sounds good, but the actual engine sounds are a little bit anemic. Which is unfortunate. Why is my windscreen on fire? Who knows? There's a mystery. 
But like I said, I do like the concept behind it. The idea that you have to sort of make choices there. But it seems like there's so small a difference in terms of your score compared to your time that using boost when you're ahead seems like a good way of doing things because there's so many objects to smash into you can very easily refill your boost I mean, look at that i'm at 8700 there i'm doubling even the next guy along and of course you get access to all of these objects because no one's bumping into them and clearing them out of the way so i can just clean out a bunch of these objects get a bunch of score and then spend it to get even further ahead so kind of a rich get richer scenario i suppose that said, the guys behind can always boost and then try and catch up to you, and one mistake will put them ahead. Like nine bazillion points of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kicking it around the corner. Knock over everything. And the vandal of the track. Why would we even put these there? I mean, really. It's like a terrible place to keep them. Perfect lap. Really? What is perfect lap? I assume that's not hitting the barrier. This is not a difficult track, by the way, if you'd already guessed. Oh, he's doing so well. No, it's just a, the track is incredibly wide, <laughs> so it's really hard to hit the side in it, and I'm so far ahead. I think, actually, my opponents are rubber banding a bit. If you notice back there, I don't see how that guy could possibly be as close as he is when I've been nitroing most of this race. Not that it really makes all that much of a difference. I'm still well ahead of him. No, oh, I've ruined my perfect lap. How sad that is. It's all right. I still have 14,000 score I can use on just nitroing the rest of the way. It wasn't an excellent swing. It was just me randomly swerving. I, mean, I like the way that the game sort of... It could, molly coddles you to this. Like, that was really great. It's like, no, you are driving dangerously. Stop it. You are a terrible driver. Achievements. Wonderful achievements. Still don't know why these are there. Well, somehow I think I'm going to have won that. Don't know where I got that impression from. Yeah, pretty quick. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a look at Ignite. Ignite currently available on Steam. I believe it's around £10 or so, give or take. Go check out the Steam page. It's being linked in the description below this video if you're looking on YouTube. Or it's being linked in the channel if you happen to be watching this live. You're watching the wtf -athon for CharityWater.org. I'll be back in a few minutes with the next game on the list, folks. Don't go anywhere.